Hey nerds. That was the stupidest intro I have ever done. I'm sorry. Welcome to my new tissue culture laboratory. Last year, my brother's software company moved into a startup incubator, which gave me the very original and not at all plagiarized idea that I should also move into the same exact startup incubator. There are tons of rules and regulations that I have to follow now that I didn't when I was doing tissue culture at home as a rogue. Right now there are two wolves inside me. One wolf is writing standard operating procedures and the other wolf is printing safety data sheets. Before I get into talking about my laboratory, the clips that you see in this video are videos of me subculturing the corpse flower. Last year, I put my corpse flower, AKA Amorphophallus titanum into tissue culture and it's been doing something. Here she is. A shrewd viewer might notice that this is not technically a wet lab. A wet lab would have a sink and there is not a sink in this room. The sink that I use is actually around the corner from my office. I am on the wait list for a lab, but there's not one open in this building right now that really suits my current needs. So basically I'm a tribute in the wet lab hunger games. I have access to two gigantic autoclaves now. In the next few weeks, these racks that you see behind me should start to fill up pretty fast because now I can do much larger batches of tissue culture. My biggest bottleneck was always using the pressure cookers for sterilizing media and sterilizing tools. A pressure cooker is an awesome solution for doing tissue culture at home, but once I started actually selling my tissue culture plants, I was like, okay, I need to do bigger batches. And now I solved my problems. This summer, I'm going to be hiring some interns interns in jars. This startup incubator is connected to a big research university and they really encourage you to hire their students. Back in early 2020, I started importing plants from Southeast Asia and reselling them on Etsy. I was actually selling imported plants up until last year and then towards the end of the year, I switched over to selling mainly plants that I had tissue cultured myself. And now my Etsy store is permanently closed because I am going to be mainly focusing on wholesale B2B or business to business orders. I'm editing the video right now and I did such a bad job explaining this. I will still have a website where anyone can buy plants. I'm just not done with it yet because I'm an avant-garde plant YouTuber, not a web designer. Back to the video. I'm starting by taking a leave out of the Steve Leaves slash Botanicas book by selling begonias to start. During that time, I'm also going to be refining my aeroid protocols a little bit more for plants like philodendrons, monsteras, and anthuriums, and I would also like to try orchid tissue culture, which I have just dipped my piggies into. Piggy dipping! Piggy dipping at the piggy pond! But I haven't really spent a lot of time trying. There's a critically imperiled orchid native to where I live called the ghost orchid, which is a very rare leafless orchid that flowers during the summer. I really wanna see one in the wild. Last month I went to a local park to look for them to see if we could find one, but there were so many alligators there that it was kind of hard to look up at the actual trees. Susan Orlean's book, The Orchid Thief, talks a lot about the ghost orchid and poaching the ghost orchid. And reading that also allowed me to reach my one nonfiction book per year quota. Anyways, that was all just to say, I think I'm going to order some ghost orchid specimen specimens to mess around with pretty soon. Okay, now I'm just yapping. Back to the video outline. Last January, I was doxing myself constantly because I was selling a lot of plants on Facebook Marketplace and I was inviting people to my house and then telling them about my YouTube channel because girl can't stop yapping. One woman, Sandy, told me about a tissue culture company called Tropica. They're located in Denmark and they sell mainly aquatic plants for aquascapes. And not only does Tropica tissue culture tons of different varieties of aquatic plants, they also go on these expeditions all around the world to look for new aquatic plants to put into tissue culture and then introduce to the aquatic plant market. I find Tropica extremely aspirational and when I think of where I want plants and jars to be in five years, that's the mold. Thank you to Plant Cell Technology for sponsoring this video. Plant Cell Technology recently released a new portable laminar flow hood that I think would be perfect for people wanting to get into tissue culture and maybe take it a step beyond using a still air box. They also offer tissue culture classes for anyone looking to get started. 
And the next houseplants and carnivorous plants is going to be March 23rd and 24th of this year, which is a Saturday and Sunday. Thank you again to PCT for sponsoring this video. And thank you also so much to you guys for watching these videos. I'm a very private, quiet introvert in my real life. So it still really surprises me that people want to watch my content on YouTube, but I greatly appreciate it. Okay, bye. Hi, my name's Lauren and I want to start my own business, so I decided to film the process. With that being said, I don't know exactly what I want to do. I'm extremely passionate about plants. I want to turn my passion into a business. So for Christmas, what my parents are getting me um, for my request is a tissue culture kit. The eventual goal is to open a plant laboratory. Oh, and I started a YouTube channel.